In this feature video, we're going to look at the new edit queue state feature added in version 10 onwards. So if we look at my show here, I've got playback six running with my spots in a circle. And if I want to update and edit that queue, uh, previously we'd be updating queues by merging. The disadvantage there is you can't change easily the effects timing or settings within a particular queue. Now with the edit queue state, if I go into my playback, uh, and this will work if I had multiple queues as well, you can edit uh, specific queues within a multi-queue stack. If I select my action menu and select the queue, I now see an edit queue button. When I select it, that now brings my queue back into the programmer. My record button has changed to be update, and now I can go and make a change to that uh, queue. It's now been loaded live into my programmer, so I could go to position, for example, effects. The effect is there in the programmer that was in my queue. I could take the size down, so you can now see I've made the size much smaller. I could edit its crossfade parts, speed, etc. And then when I'm happy with the change, I can make other changes like color as well, so I could set them to red. I press my update button, and record has changed to update, uh, and that tells me here it's updated the queue that I'd selected to edit. So now when I run that playback up, you can see it's been edited. Spots are now in red, and I've changed the size of that effect. This works on multi-queue stacks, as mentioned, so I could go into, say, a queue here, a queue stack here, I could say action, click on queue two, and edit that queue, and that would bring that queue into the programmer for me to make a change to. So that's edit queue in version 10 onwards.